right here. Melina and I are up against a little spruce edge on this cut. Behind us, we have a four-pointer working in. We don't know it's a four-pointer yet, so I'm getting my gun up in case it's a big buck. Um, here in a minute, you can hear it um, start grunting. It walks in, comes behind us, and that blowdown right behind my head. Melina really couldn't see through it to see the buck itself. Um, it came in really fast, grunting, and it almost ran a bit. But it walked in behind us, and Melina couldn't um, get a real good sight on it. But um, the next couple minutes here are pretty interesting to see it unfold. But pretty exciting deer interaction, having it grunt right into us. Enjoy. Melina, you just smoked him. I did. I just shot him. <laughs> Melina, get your gun. Get your gun. See him? See him? He's running that way. See him? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Uh, I Melina, I think you smoked him. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. So I bet there's a fair amount of people that are wondering why we're running up to this hill. Um, the shot looked good from where we were, and it was probably 85 or 90 yards um, up to this ridge. The shot looked good from where we were, and Melina shooting a 30-30, I wanted her to try and get another shot on this deer if it was out in the field, um, up above, just standing there. And if she had missed it, I wanted her to be able to get up there and maybe have another shot, even if she hadn't hit it. So running up there, we get up there, and as you'll see, we can't find any blood, can't find any hair, no place the bullet hit the ground. Um, we track this deer through this cut, and um, the direction that it went was kind of difficult to remember because it gets over the ridge, and then you can't see it. And after it gets past this little hump here, there's a track just to the right of us there. It gets over the ridge and then takes a couple back and forth jumps so we didn't really have a good direction of where it went to look for blood um, you'll see a replay of the shot here and it looks like in really slowed down there's a black dot that appeared at really high lung area right below the spine 
and with such a small 3030 it's it's kind of difficult to get that penetration I think um, not saying anything against the 3030 it's just difficult with that shot placement but um, we tracked this deer around the cut we walked all edges of the cut um, we did interior of the edges like up to two or three hundred yards in um, back and forth I've been back to this spot multiple times since um, and tracked around I'm going to sit there eventually to see if the four-pointer will walk out again but um, with the hit that we put on it um, we're thinking that the deer might have survived um, without blood or hair it's really hard telling all right, so Molina and I have walked a bunch of the cut looking for blood. We're back where the shot took place. Um, we're gonna dig through it again, see if we can find a place the bullet hit the ground. We're gonna rewatch the footage in slow-mo, see what we can see, but we're very confused at this point because of that big mule kick really throwing us off. Made it seem like it would have been a, a good hit. Uh, right behind the shoulder is what it looked like, but Let's, uh, let's look at the footage again. As this video comes to a close, um, I will of course update in later videos if something changes with this hunt, but um, down below in the comments maybe a word of encouragement for Melina. Um, it's kind of hard losing a deer, especially at such a young age. It doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth, but she is eager to get back out in the woods, which is a good thing. Um, we've tried to uh, instill in her that good shot placement and tracking a deer and to the best of your ability making sure that it um, either did not survive or did survive the shot is the best ethical way to go about it and um, so far we think that we've covered our bases around this cut um, and we'll check trail cameras and such to see if this four pointer survived but um, any negative comments down below are going to be deleted immediately so don't bother. Um, thank you very much for watching this episode. Take care.